Let's go. Let's look at some data here. We've been chatting a bit. So this is 2x3. And instantly, you know, 2x3 still gets passed around a lot. I don't think it's a good idea at all. Uh, in 2x3, there's a lot of things you're missing out on. The, the most obvious one is geolocation. If anybody has a 2x3 file and they say they've geolocated it, it's probably not true. <laughs> okay. In fact, it's almost guaranteed to be not true. They haven't geolocated it. Because and if they they say I have I have I have the next question you ask them is says okay show me where you've stored the CRS name in your in your model, and then if they don't answer that then then they know then then you know that they haven't actually done it. If they do answer it then you think twice. <laughs> so <laughs> and, and and we can see that. So and if I go to georeferencing it just says there's nothing it's just not georeferenced. Yeah, that's one of the first things I look for is right coordinates as well. Right once you load it, mm -hmm. you kind of in the right spot because one of the the biggest uses right now is of course. 3D coordination, so getting the right coordinates in this model. So this model uses a local engineering coordinate system. We can tell because it doesn't have very, very big coordinates. It doesn't use uh, eastings and northings. And that's okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And, and this is a common misconception. There's nothing wrong with using local coordinates. And in fact, that's, that's how engineers and architects of vertical construction. This is a vertically constructed building. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, roads and rail and so on. So that's, that's a great thing, except that a local coordinate system should come with a, a mapping or a translation to your map coordinates, you know, your eastings and northings. And at the same time, your local coordinate system should be drawn to Project North. So I shouldn't be seeing this. I should be, you know, seeing something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, not aligned, bro. That's right. It should be orthogonal, whereas it already has the rotation. Because that's how you design, that's how you, you snap all your, your measurements to. Your model should reflect the design intent if you're working local coordinates. And this point here, should you should know the eastings and the northings and orthogonal height of that point over there. And currently that's missing. If you yeah. moved it to IFC4, you will be able to record the rotation. You'll be able to record the eastings, northings, and height. You'll be able to record the combined scale factor to convert from your local coordinate systems and your map coordinate systems. And most importantly, in fact, I should have thought, mentioned it very at the beginning, you'll be able to record just what coordinate system you're using. Who knows? In Australia, um, it's interesting because it's these few years have been the the switching point between two coordinate systems. So any project in Australia right now that fails to record that information is going to have ambiguous data wow. in 10 years time. Because it's kind of like the boundary, depending on when you got mm -hmm. your survey done. Which coordinate yeah. system is it in? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, here regarding this issue is mostly the architect responsibility. So uh, the engineer here just followed the instructions he got from the architect, I guess, right? Yeah, in general, it's the architect's responsibility, but more importantly, it's mm. actually the surveyor's responsibility. And this is a big problem because surveyors get hired, they do a thing and then they disappear. And then they appear again when you have to build it or when something's not what they said it was. And then who is being referred to for coordinate issues? It's the architect, but architects are not trained in eastings and northings and map coordinate systems. True. So yes, architects have some part of the responsibility. And that part of the responsibility is nominating correct set out point as well as um, uh, to, to use for the local coordinate system that's kind of false origin. And the second part of the responsibility is defining the project north. No, that's a, that's purely architectural. Surveyors don't care about project north. The project coordination works on project north and, and that's what the architect defines. Yeah, so really the responsibility is a shared responsibility of the architect, the surveyor, and then I would advise one more party to keep the other two in check. I was thinking exactly about that. That's me, that uh, I will need to make uh, clearer requirements regarding this issue. And at the same time, educate my uh, decision with the architect and with the surveyor. Because that's what's missing right now, to align uh, these uh, wishes and to implement them, right? Yeah, definitely. So whoever that third party is, whether it's the client, I don't know, independent third party, or I don't know, a separate consultant or something, there, there should be a third person who understands enough about the two worlds, the world that the surveyor lives in and the world that the architects live in, and by proxy, all the rest of the, the services who will need to copy over those coordinates. A bit of a segue here. <laughs> Long story short, it's in 2x3, doesn't have, doesn't have georeferencing. Go to ISC4. It's, it's the bare minimum. 